Welcome back. Uh, this is CKK TV here in Livingston at Avan Resort, where this is hosting their tenth annual conference. And of course, uh, we just uh, spoke to Mr. Taonga Simonde uh, from Zambia Sugar, and now we are joined by Mr. Collins Kupapala. He is the procurement and inventory manager for Zambia Sugar. Sir, good afternoon. Good afternoon, and. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to meet you at this conference. Thank you so much. I must say for me, this is a more of a familiar routine. Oh, yeah. I think I'm attending my 10th conference. Wow. <laughs> so I was there when we had our very first. Wow. And here we are now. 10 years down the line. I must say it has been more than 10 years because I think a couple of years ago we couldn't hold it okay. because of the COVID. Uh, but here we are. Wow. I'm attending it for the 10th time. Well, you are the founding members. Maybe you should be welcoming us instead. Yes, I must say so. <laughs> yeah. uh, founding members not just uh, with regards to the conference, <laughs> but to the ZIPs itself. Wow. Uh, I'll tell you like my, my ZIPs membership number is 000. 337. <laughs> so I'm uh, like in uh, member number 337 in wow. the history wow. of Zips. Wow. Uh, and now the numbers are in their thousands. Mm. So you can see how long standing a member I've been. Very true. Thank you. I want to get your, your, what, your take. Your theme this year uh, speaks of ethical procurement. As a person who has been in this game for a long time, when you see the theme like that, what first comes into your mind? First of all, I must say this year's theme mm -hmm. Uh, is a beautiful one mm -hmm. because it's not just capturing one thing yeah. it's a supply chain excellency yes. through the prudent management of resources mm -hmm. value addition mm -hmm. and then the ethical, ethical procurement so there are three things there yes. in procurement we always strive to add value mm -hmm. Uh, because procurement is not just a paper pushing exercise, okay. it's supposed to add value. Mm -hmm. There's talk of uh, management of resources in a prudent manner. Yeah. It's also our role to make sure the resources are managed prudently. Mm -hmm. Then there's also ethical. Mm -hmm. the ethical touches on how we conduct our procurement. It also talks to the perceived uh, corruption procurement. Yeah. Yeah. So that theme mm -hmm. for us is key mm -hmm. so that we can talk to and answer to these insinuations about corruption procurement. Yeah. Hence, we want to emphasize that mm. in our own procurement, we want to emphasize only ethics. Mm -hmm. Yes. As a, as a man who is in charge, obviously, of resources at uh, Zambia Sugar, when you talk of, about you know prudent uh, management of resources, and obviously you had the keynote speech by the minister on behalf of the president yesterday, did touch on the fact that there is corruption, not just perceived corruption, but he mentioned cited cases of procurement officers in different government institutions as well as private misbehaving. What do you think as a man in charge of resources at Zambia should be? Both at company level and at national level, what do you think should be done? What are we not doing right? First of all, it's true and I can agree that they are cases of genuine corruption in procurement. But procurement uh, in itself actually is not just uh, found in procurement, it's say, cuts across many fields uh, in the industry or in the, in the country as it were. So in terms of uh, ZIPs and uh, when you narrow down to what we are doing at Zambia Sugar, I'm in charge of procurement and inventory. So first of all, it's about the controls. What controls are in place in these procurement processes? It's about policies. What's a procurement policy? In the public sector, you talk about uh, being governed by the ZIPT Act. There's also being governed by the ZPPA, Zambia Public Procurement Authority, and the guidelines and procedures that are in there. It's these things that help to keep either perceived or actual procure, uh, procurement corruption. So uh, narrowed down in our case uh, in the public uh, in private sector, mm -hmm. we have got procurement policies okay. and we've got procurement procedures mm -hmm. that govern the way we conduct our procurement. Mm -hmm. These work also as controls. 
in terms of how we conduct the procurement process itself, how are the approvals, and these approvals also are based on the threshold values, so that uh, small, small values can be approved at a lower level, then for high level and high value kind of procurements, the approvals are actually at the highest level, including the, uh, the country managing directors as it were, to approve, so that you embed these controls in the processes. So that helps to keep any perceived or actual corruption in the procurement processes. Right. Uh, we are aware that uh, Zambia Sugar, you are sponsoring some awards at uh, this year's you know, conference. Uh, we know the awards are taking place tomorrow in the afternoon, I mean in the evening, and uh, you are sponsoring, is it 10 of those awards? Why and uh, <laughs> why 10? And you, what's your interest in this? Yeah, thank you very much for, uh, for that. Um, not 10 though, okay. uh, I think Zambia, Zambia Sugar we sponsoring 4 of the awards, oh, okay. the, the total awards are available for sponsorship were at 12, okay. so Zambia Sugar is sponsoring 4 of those awards okay. uh, and we hope that next time around we can actually even do better, uh, I th uh, maybe sponsor all of them, yeah. uh, it's such that we were contacted really quite late, okay. uh, so we we sponsoring 4 of uh, the awards. Uh, the motivation is that uh, as Zambia Sugar, first of all, we, 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 we pay attention to the value that procurement creates. Uh, at Zambia Sugar, procurement is viewed not, not as a cost center, but as a value addition center. So there's a lot of value that procurement can bring into the business. And this value goes to speak straight to the bottom line or profit as it were. So you realize that procurement is the only window in the private sector in particular through which the money, the, the money of the company can lease the business. Okay. You know accountants will pay, but they can't pay if there's no purchase order yes. or contract. Right. Uh, the engineers will certify works, but they can only do that first. They so it should have been a tender process and a contract uh, before the works can be executed and paid. So, uh, re realistically speaking, it's through procurement that money can actually leave the business. Yeah. Now, if you control this window properly, it can begin to add value to the business. It's now a strategic resource yes. that uh, adds value to the business mm -hmm. in terms of the uh, speaking directly to the profit okay yes so in terms of this conference and you sponsoring those awards how does it in any way enhance what you do at the uh, first of all it speaks to the fact that we value okay. uh, the role of procurement okay. and would want to promote oh, yeah. uh, you see that theme uh, for for the Zips conference also speaks mm -hmm. to to the principles that we believe in at Zambia Sugar. Yeah. So it's from that background that we are motivated mm -hmm. to to begin to be associated. Mm -hmm. So we are proud to be associated with this sponsorship wow. because we value procurement or supply chain as it were. Great. Are you likely to win an award tomorrow? Uh, no, because we didn't enter ah, okay. uh, the competition. Right. Uh, next time around, next year, we're hoping to enter okay. the race. Uh -huh. uh, in particular, uh, in the use of innovation and technology. Right. We use uh, quite a lot of that at Zambia Sugar. Uh, I'm very sure that if we, we, have ent we would have entered, we would have won with that won. one. <laughs> uh, we could also uh, be in a strong running uh, in the award for... Uh, most uh, best performing okay. uh, uh, procurement or supply chain in oh. private sector. I love uh, that we can. Uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so look out for us next well, year. We we'll definitely look out. Uh, yes. Our first at uh, you know a CKK at uh, the Zips you know conference, and uh, we are definitely coming back uh, next year. That was Mr. Collins Kupapala, the procurement and inventory manager at Zambia Sugar, where they believe in spending better and buying better so this is kim and uh, we are still giving you updates of what's taking place here at the zips 20, uh, 2022 uh, conference in livingstone stay tuned we'll be giving you more